Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending upon where you are in the world, and welcome to today's webinar, Powering AIoT with InnoDisk Group, brought to you by InnoDisk and broadcast by Aspen Core Media. I'm Chris Keach, and I'll be your moderator today. We have just a few brief announcements before we begin. First, the slides will advance automatically throughout the event. You may also download a copy of the slides by clicking on the green folder icon located at the bottom of your screen. You can participate in our Q&A session by asking questions at any time during this webinar. Just type your question into the Q&A text area located to the right of the presentation window and then click the Submit button. Please note that we'll try to get to as many questions as we can in the time that we have left. If we're unable to get to your individual question today, someone will get back to you after the program is over. Also at this time, we recommend that you disable your computer's pop-up blockers and at the end of the webinar, we will ask you to complete our feedback form. Your feedback will provide us with valuable information on how we can improve future events. You can also launch the survey at any time by clicking on the red survey button at the bottom of your console. And if you're experiencing any technical problems, please type your issue into the Q&A text area, and we will be glad to offer one-on-one -on -one assistance. And now, on to the presentation, Powering AIoT with InnoDisk Group. Discussing today's topic is Michael Tao, Sales Engineer at InnoDisk EMEA Business Division. Michael is responsible for Benelux and Nordics in Europe, and Michael has almost three years of experience in the embedded and industrial world of memory, flash, and PC systems. Joining him today is Eric Chang, Special Assistant at GM Office. Eric has 18 years of IT and telecom experience in sales and product management, 11 years expatriate experience in Australia and the U.S., managing cross-nation and multiculture organizations. It's with great pleasure I now turn this special session over to Michael and Eric to begin. Michael and Eric, take it away. Hello everybody and welcome to Powering AIoT with the InnoDisk Group. My name is Michael and I will be your host for today. The agenda for today is the following. We will discuss the market overview and we do an introduction of InnoDisk. We have an overview of some of our InnoDisk solutions, a closer look at these kind of solutions and my colleague Eric will tell you a little bit more about the InnoDisk Group. We will start with the market overview and introduction of InnoDisk. The IoT market continues to grow. As we all know, the IoT market is one of the bigger markets out there. Um, there's a lot of different goods that are available uh, that will fit in the IoT market, but in this presentation, we will discuss a little bit about InnoDisk's parts that will fit in there. As you can see, the forecasted size of the IoT market in 2027 will be 1.4 billion. Um, the estimated global size of the industrial PC market will also keep on growing and the expected size of the global SSD market, in which is InnoDisk is in, will grow to a 5 billion. Smart applications and the new growth engine. So to give you an idea how InnoDisk is approaching the market, uh, we have here a slide that will show you uh, what we can and how we try to implement it. The IPC market is, of course, the standard embedded IPC market that we will focus on, that InnoDisk is focusing on. Inside this market, there's, of course, a vertical market, IoT, embedded SI, thin client solutions, medical solutions, aerospace solutions. There is a bunch of different vertical markets that InnoDisk created goods for and that we want to penetrate. Of course, we can also make these markets smart. And that's why we call it AIoT. We can, for example, create smart vehicles, smart surveillance, smart medical, and we all have different kinds of solutions that will fit in there. To give you an idea, the IPC market is, of course, basically a hardware solution. Traditional products like SSD, memory, uh, IPC chassis, simple CPU, etc., etc. This is purely focused on hardware development. The vertical market will dive deeper. You will have a device and a solution already available for your customer. So there's already an application running on these devices and hardware and firmware are more integrated together to deliver the right solution. 
And then if you look at the smart vertical market, AOT, you work way more with software solutions. And here in Odisk also have different kind of solutions like ICAP, iOPOL, iSmart, iRate, iTracker, etc. We will discuss this a little bit more in future slides. So if you look at the smart vertical market, you have a complete platform, including hardware, firmware and software to provide a solution to your customer. And this, of course, generates more revenue also for you, and it will give your customer a complete solution. So in the end, you will get way more hardware value because you sell multiple devices together. You sell a piece of software that comes with it. And in the end, you will have a complete solution that you can also manage. And now we are going to talk a little bit more about the company Innerdisk. We are founded in 2005. Our capital is 797 million NTD with over 3000 customers divided all over the world. Our revenue is 7.36 billion NTD with a yearly shipment growth of 20% year on year so far. Overall, we also have 115 patents divided over our Flash and DRAM products. If you look at the application and customized products that Innerdisk focuses on, um, you have to keep in mind that Innerdisk is really good at customization. Uh, we can make customized products for basically everybody. So we have solutions for in-vehicle, gaming, healthcare, communication, infrastructure, aerospace, and transportation. And this is just a small part of it. This is of course, again, the vertical marks that you can see here. If you look at our products themselves, uh, and first we of course start with the flash products. We have a complete storage solution. We have PCIe devices, SATA devices, PATA devices, SD devices, and USB devices. For each of these devices, um, we have different kind of power loss protection. Meaning if the power uh, is completely lost, uh, we make sure that your data is still secure. We have different kind of features for vertical markets, longevity and long-term support. Why do we have this? We work with eight tier vendors like Samsung, Kyoksha, etc. Um, we also have uh, different kind of relationships with our partners. Uh, one example is of course uh, Microsoft, where we have one of our devices called InnoH, which is an IoT device, and we will discuss a little bit more about this later on, that works together with the Microsoft Azure Cloud Solutions. That said, we can also do custom firmware and we make most of our own firmware. And this gives us the advantage to clearly make a device that is specific for one vertical market. In this slide, I want to highlight two of our new AIoT device management products. One is InnoH and one is InnoOSR. To start with InnoH, this is a product that is connected directly to the internet meaning that via a Microsoft Azure account, you can directly talk to the disk. Now, what is InnoH? InnoH is basically a disk that has a backup function inside. The disk is built up in two partitions. One is your main partition where your OS is located. And the second partition is a direct backup of that OS. The advantage of course of this is, let's say you have a system in the field and the system breaks down. Normally, you would need to send an engineer over there with a new disk. It takes time to get to a remote location, for example. And overall, systems are down for a couple of hours. With this solution, you can use the Microsoft Azure Cloud to directly tell the disk to put the backup, which is on partition two, back on partition one. After a while, uh, usually it takes around five, 10, 15 minutes, depending on the size of the OS, it will have it has recovered and after that it will automatically reset the system. Inno OSR is basically the little product but not with a connection to the internet. The advantage of this disk is that you can connect a button, a physical button to the device where it acts the same as InnoH. So it has an OS partition and a backup partition. When the system is down, an engineer just needs to walk over, let's say this is in a factory, he walks over, push the button for a couple of seconds, system will automatically start recovery and after that you will have a working system again. The next part we have in our of course big portfolio is DRAM and for DRAM 
we have also different kind of modules embedded server wide temperature and customized memory what we do with this and what we are really proud of we use the highest quality original ic advantage of this is that we work directly with all our a tier partners and they can provide us with the best goods available so we purchase the memory and apart from that we create everything ourselves white temperature modules we even have sorted white temperature of all the products that we test ourselves uh, we have different kind of add-ons on our memory modules like conformal coating uh, which gives of course the advantage if you work in a humid environment we can create something for you we do our own in-house testing on each and every module to make sure that we can stand behind a lifetime warranty for our DRA modules. To give you an idea of, well, that we are also focusing on the latest technologies, we have implemented DDR4 3200 MHz. And this, of course, currently only works with AMD systems, but there is a big growth in AMD in the industrial sector currently because of their high and powerful CPU, which are also very affordable. Of course, it will also work together with Intel, but it's not officially supported. Then if you look at our last product group, which is embedded peripherals, also short of EP, uh, we have a different kind of solutions for storage, disk array solutions, adding extra display, ex adding extra communication, and one of the last additions that we have is AI, based on the Intel Movidius Myriad. Why would you want to use any of these products? Is a very good question that maybe is going to be asked. Let's say you have a complete system already and your customer says to you, hey, I want to have an extra hard drive. Ah, I want to connect an extra display with these kind of solutions. And if you have an available M.2, MSATA or any connector inside, we have a solution for you. Advantage, of course, is that the customer does not need to purchase a complete new system and he can just work with his current solutions. Now I want to discuss a little bit more about our AI accelerator cards together with iVino. iVino is a software tool, a web-based GUI tool that we have developed together with the OpenVino platform. It's extremely easy to use because a lot of model models have already been implemented. So you can basically set up a solution and immediately click it, test it to see how it works. We have two AI accelerator cards available, one based on mini PCIe with a single Movidius Myriad chip and we have another M.2 based solution with a dual Movidius solution. So how does it work? You have the Ivino software, you need to have an AI accelerator card together with basically any IPC platform and an application that you want to use it for in vehicle solutions, camera solutions, drone solutions, whatever. So you have an easy to use model management solution which is one of the advantages of iVino there's an inbuilt benchmark to tool to see what the difference is between your normal cpu and the ai accelerator card and there is a demo platform built in to see if there is a solution built for you so without iVino you need to have the following. You need to install Intel OpenVINO development tools. You need to download the AI models. You need to convert to deep learning deployment, uh, which is something that you need to do for every solution that you have. And then in the end, you need to write code to run applications or do benchmarks. With the iVINO tool, most of these things are already built in. You install iVINO, you select what you want to do, and then you run your benchmarks to see how it performs compared to your older solution. Now I want to discuss a little bit more about our software solutions. We have a couple of different solutions and basically they are divided in two parts, an edge solution and a cloud management system. The edge solution is basically something that you can run locally. iSmart is one of our most famous tools where you can use to read out information from your disk, such as lifespan, PE cycle, temperatures, and you can even set write protection functions in there. Another one that I want to discuss is iOpal, which is in our market very important. Some of our disks need to be protected for certain use. With iOpal, we have implemented this on specific 
products of our SSD range that they are self-encrypting, meaning that if somebody steals your disk or you lose your disk, it is impossible to get the data out. Another solution that we have is based on a cloud solution, which is called ICAP. And for ICAP, I want to go to the next slide. We can use a small example to show you how it works. Now let's imagine a complete factory where ICAP is the controller part that manages all the systems that are in the edge. So ICAP is running in the cloud and you can see where all your systems are located. You can do some device management, see temperature, see lifespan, etc. And then in the edge, you have your systems and all these systems work together. And with our sister companies called Etina, Militronic, Anser and Cicino, which Eric will tell you a little bit more later, you can make a complete platform that is manageable by ICAP. In this slide, I want to define out of band management in AIoT. So you have your public private cloud up and running. It uses a software uh, suite like ICAP and one of your system goes down. The normal way of acting will be send an engineer over there, let him fix the solution, let him fix the software, let him even replace a disk. However, what if your factory is in, in the other side of the country and you do not have an engineer to spare and it's, uh, the factory is down? Now, what is out of band management then? Together with our InnoH solution, you can talk directly to the hardware instead of talking to the application. So if the system is down, there is no application running anymore and you need to have somebody on site to fix it. With the anyway solution, and like I explained to you, you can recover one partition by a simple click of a button inside your ICAP solution or the management solution that's in there. You can quickly use the cloud and ICAP to get the systems up and running again. Um, now I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, two different solutions that we have implemented in the market. The first one I want to start with is called Next Generation for a Healthcare Solution. So picture this, we have a hospital. In this hospital we have a lot of different patients, a lot of machinery and everything needs to be managed. So we created Smart Healthcare to increase efficiency and improve the healthcare experience. We did this with three simple steps make it intelligent make it predictive and make sure that we maintain the goods how do we make it intelligent um, how can you manage a large number of connected devices basically we already discussed this earlier in the slides by using our software called icap with this you can see if devices are almost going to stop working um, where the devices are located, even for example, an ambulance that is en route to the hospital. We can simply see where it is and when it will come to the hospital. Predictive. Uh, of course, we want to predict equipment lifetime uh, with iCap or iSmart, if you install it locally. We can see what the status of our products are. We can see the lifespan of our DRAM product. We can see the lifespan of our flash product. And with this, we can already send an engineer when the disk is almost EOL and we can change it. And of course, maintenance. Maintenance is basically there to save our main time and cost. If the device stops working, then maybe the patient information is not registered anymore. And this is something that simply cannot happen in a hospital. So three things to make it smarter. We make it intelligent by monitoring all the information that is already there. We make it predictive to find out when devices are stopped working or uh, when the ambulance is coming into the hospital. And the maintenance is there simply to make sure that there is no unexpected downtime of a product. Now we have arrived at the challenges. In the pyramid on the left, you will see three parts, analysis, centralized storage, and data collection. InnerDisk focuses on data collection and centralized storage. If you look at the medical devices, which are close to the patient, uh, there is basically three parts, data collection and image integrity and efficient communication between the edge devices and the cloud. So the communication needs to be done between the medical devices and the servers that are in the hospital. If you look at the data collection and image integrity, 
most of these uh, devices that are next to patient have extremely small files that they are constantly writing to the disk. And because of this, we always suggest customers to use a disk with an extremely long lifespan. Uh, for example, disk with SLC flash, ISLC flash, and even some disk with MLC flash. The advantage of these disks, they can be written 3000, 20,000, 60,000 times before something might go wrong. If you look at the centralized storage where all this information has been sent to, uh, it needs to be done efficiently. So as much data needs to be stored without losing any data. Uh, proper management of confidential patient data. This is why we have specific encryption modes on our disks. Uh, timely maintenance and repairs of edge medical devices, meaning that customers can use iSmart or iCap that we have discussed earlier to see where something might go wrong in the hospital and do preventive maintenance. And in the end, we need to have notification and alerts when something might go wrong. So here we go a little bit more in depth into the challenges that we have just set. So efficient centralized storage. We use SLC and ISLC products for stability and endurance. These disks can be written 60,000 times before some data might go lost. We use our high performance DDR4 DRAM modules with 3200 speed, like we just discussed, to quickly and uh, securely write all the data. Uh, high isolation protection design, as mentioned, in this can do custom products. And one of the custom products is that we have implemented into the hospital. Power management of confidential patient data. So with our AES256 and TCG Opal security solutions, we can make sure that no patient data will go to the outside and it will be abused. And then last but not least, the maintenance and the notifications. We can use our ICAP, NOH, and OSR solutions for this, like we've discussed earlier already. One of the next solutions that I want to talk is a 5G networking. 5G networking is more and more popular all over the world, and it has some pretty good advantages. There's a really high bandwidth. The downside of this uh, 5G solution is that it's a short wavelength, meaning you need more devices, which of course is better for us and better for you because you're able to sell more simple computers. The downside is a poor diffraction, meaning that it's hard to go through walls. Solutions are making extra base stations. And one of the big advantages is this beamforming technology that you will get with 5G. So overall, you get a thousand times more bandwidth per unit area. There's a really low latency. You can connect more devices and you have a 10 year battery life for, so, for, for on small devices that are powered by a battery because it uses really low power. To give you an example that uh, also fits perfectly well together with our uh, uh, hospital story, here you see a map of an ambulance that simply goes to the hospital. You see there's a lot of 5G masts out there and the data from the ambulance is transferred directly to the hospital so that the doctors already know the complete status of the patient. This might even save a life because uh, doctors know information before the, 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 the actual patient gets out of the ambulance and can already prepare the right solutions for them. So for 5G solutions, InnoDisk inner disk focuses only on businesses. Microcell, small cell, and picocell. We do not focus on consumer parts. To give you two different scenarios that we have actually implemented in the market, one was an agricultural scenario, which you can see here, where we had a couple of different challenges. It was a hard, harsh environment. Uh, all the information uh, needs to be monitored, and we need to make sure that uh, maintenance can be done on site or off site. There's a lot of data coming to the system. Uh, what happens if an OS is crashing? Because uh, in this specific application, the agricultural fields were so big that it takes a lot of time to get to the actual defect device. And there is, of course, not enough manpower available. So what do we do? We implemented an NOH solution. Basically, you can control it from afar via the cloud. Um, 
we use specific registered and ECC functionality in our DRAM to process also the massive data, make sure that no bits get an error. And we use a white temp solution. Why, of course, because outside it can be really hot and it can be really cold. And we use anti sulfuration on the device. So in total, we implemented InnoH, we implemented our ICAP solutions and our high speed DRAM solutions. The next and last scenario that I want to talk is the Pico cell solution. If you can remember, I showed you the ambulance solution where an ambulance is driving through town to get all the information to the hospital in time. This is based on this solution. So we had different kind of uh, Pico cells uh, stationed all over uh, the city, but there were some issues. Um, poor diffraction, of course, with 5G, it, it can penetrate walls. A lot of data needs to be uh, processed because a lot of there's not only one ambulance running through town no there's multiple um, we need to make sure that if something goes wrong we should be able to replace the cells when needed and the downside also was that there's also limited space at the specific location and the advantage of course that we have and the solutions that we provided high-speed DRAM solutions we have a wide range of form factors we can even sell really small form factor MSATA and M.2 uh, because there's limited cell space. We actually have a, a winning uh, part on hand. Uh, we used our ICAP solution to monitor and predict the lifespan of the devices. And because uh, a lot of data is connected, a lot of, uh, sorry, a lot of data is collected, a lot of small data is collected, we used ISLC solutions and the advantage of an ISLC solution is that it can be written 20,000 times before something might go wrong. The next speaker will be Eric and Eric will tell you a little bit more about Inodisc and our sister companies. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them at the end of the presentation. Thank you for your time. Thanks, Michael. Hi, everyone. My name is Eric Chen. I will take over to share with you InnoDisk subsidiary solutions in the context of the recent pandemic. Antenna is one subsidiary specializing in edge computing. In current COVID-19 environments, many AI software companies are inventing solutions to address general medical inspections, such as mask wearing, sneezing detection, surgical gloves detection, and social distancing. One software partner adopts Antenna Edge AI computing platform to build their smart sensors with higher AI performances for detection. Antenna not only offers compact and powerful JSON platform, but it also integrates all cameras and speakers interfaces, making sure it functions well, allowing the partner to build the whole solution quickly. Enodis also offers iCap, the remote device management tool to expedite our partner integrations. The next one is Enzotech, specializing in IOV, Internet of Vehicle, with a wide range of vehicle-related tracker solutions. Currently, all countries are racing against the clock for COVID-19 vaccine trials. Just imagine that a huge amount of the vaccine needed to be transported and delivered in low temperature environments. So, Temperature control is crucial during logistics arrangement. Code chain with LoRa sensors and trackers are one of the offerings from Enzotech, making sure vaccines are tracked down and monitored in a consistent and safe manner from dispatch to the final destination. Another application derived from Enzotech is to offer Bluetooth gateway to collect patients and elderly indoor activities such as drinking frequencies, wristband, and the body temperature. The gateway then consolidates the data and it presents to the dashboard for medical staff to have a quicker and a clear view on each patient's status without allocating too many nurses or caretakers, but still achieving satisfactory patient management. Mellotronic has the latest Wi-Fi 6 media server module that tackles applications in medical and work from home scenarios. In the hospital settings, the WMS module, in this case, in that inside the monitor, connects to the hospital internal Wi-Fi network. Once the medical station nearby the patients 
also connects to the Wi-Fi network. The patient's data is live streamed via the module to the monitor at the same time. One benefit is that with no cables required, the display monitor for remote health surveillance can be easily relocated from time to time on medical staff's demand. Another benefit is that since the WMS can help medical staff access important health data without interacting directly with their patients, it reduces the risk that they will catch the disease from their patients. As most companies implemented work from home policies, and it is likely to last for further few months, there's a need for stable teleconferences in your home offices. When WMS is installed in your monitor, you can mirror and extend the screen of your laptop by integrating this module with your existing HDMI display monitor. The module also built with the latest Wi-Fi 6 technology. It can provide low latency, high speed, high capacity, stable connectivity for your USB devices and display monitor to wirelessly connect with your window PC. SysEno is another subsidiary specializing in industrial air quality monitoring with a wide range of both indoors and outdoor devices. As you can see, the air quality monitor detects air pollutants. The device could transmit real-time air data such as CO2, PM2.5, TVOC to display board or center room. The air quality could also send real-time information to the cloud via the internet so users could view and take necessary control actions. The device could then connect to the IoT relay controller that sent control signal to trigger HVAC systems upon users' actions. One application in hospitals, when different kinds of gases are commonly used, such as oxygen, nitrogen, nitrous oxide, helium, carbon dioxide, and compressed air. Sometimes leakage could happen, that is smellless, that could cause harms and a potential lawsuit due to the medical negligence. If the air monitor is installed, it could send real-time warning signals if gas leakage happens, so medical staff could take immediate actions to prevent disaster happened. Another relevant application is in public transportation system, where many commuters packed usually during rush hours. In summertime, the sweat and the humidity could further pollute the air quality that causes discomfort. When the air monitor is installed, it could detect the increased amount of TVOC and CO2 level and trigger air conditioning to run at high speed. The sterilization system could also be triggered to kill germs due to the increased temperature and the humidity. This could reduce the chance of contracting viruses. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening. All right, well, thank you, Michael and Eric, for a great presentation. We're now going to move on to the question and answer portion of our event. As a reminder, if you'd like to participate in our Q&A session, simply type your question into the text box located to the right of the presentation window, or you can click on the Q&A icon at the bottom of your screen, type your question in, and then click the Submit button. Please note that we'll try to get to as many questions as we can in the time that we have left. If we're unable to get to your individual question today, someone will get back to you after the program is over. So let's get started with some questions. We've got quite a few here coming in for our experts. Our first one here, uh, our company does not work with Microsoft uh, Azure, but uh, with private cloud, with a private cloud solution. I really want to integrate uh, InnoAge, and will you have a private cloud version for that? Yes, hello. This is uh, Michael from InnoDisk. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Uh, to answer this question, um, yes, we will have two different versions for InnoH, uh, one for Microsoft Azure and one for your private cloud solution. Um, while the Microsoft Azure version is handled by uh, Microsoft, your private cloud solution will have its 
own security need to be taken care of. So any communication done between uh, uh, the ICAP solution and the Microsoft, uh, uh, the InnoH disk, will need to be taken care of by your own. So to answer the question, yes, we will have two different versions. All right, thank you, Michael. We'll move on to another question here. I really want to implement InnoH uh, into our Linux-based platforms. Uh, is this disk compatible with Linux? Um, yes, this is Michael again. The question, uh, is, is, is clear. The disk will be compatible with Linux. Um, we will have a software package available that is compatible with Linux, with Windows. Um, and, and since you will be using a, a hardware-based switch to recover the OS, uh, like uh, showed in the presentation, uh, you only need to make sure that you have a chassis that has an option to mount an extra button. All right, thank you, Michael. We'll move on to another question here. Uh, due to increased demand for AIoT and 5G applications in harsh environments, uh, we see some industrial DRAM suppliers offer optional uh, anti-sulfuration uh, features to protect against corrosion failure. Uh, does InnoDisk provide such an option and at what cost? Hello, yes. Um, this, this is, is uh, oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, uh, this is uh, Kevin uh, Beck. I'm the product manager for EMEA Division, so I'm happy to answer this question for you. Uh, so, yes, in fact, all our DDR4 are equipped with uh, anti-sulfuration feature without any additional cost. All right, thank you, Kevin. We'll move on to another question here. Our next question, uh, do we know when DDR5 will become available uh, to the industrial market? Uh, yes, this is Kevin uh, Beck uh, again, or I can answer you this uh, this question. So, um, no, not yet. So, latest feedback we got from Samsung this month is that the schedule will be updated uh, in Q4, depending on the platform readiness from Intel and AMD. So, uh, yeah, we expect to get more solid uh, roadmap information on DDR5 uh, by the end of this year, early 2021. All right, thank you, Kevin. And another question has come in asking, what is the main difference between InnoAge and InnoOSR? Okay, this is Alfie Wang. Uh, I'm a uh, fresh product manager of uh, in this email. Um, I will take this question. So uh, the main difference is that uh, InnoAge allow user to make a backup of uh, OS or launch command remotely through cloud. And Inno, oh, sorry, Inno H and Inno OSR allow user to make a backup of uh, OS partition locally by press a physical button on front side of a system. All right, thank you, Alfie. Another question has come in asking, can I uh, or can ICAP uh, be deployed independently from Inno H? Okay, this is Alfie again. So yes, ICAP is you know this cloud-based SSC monitoring uh, software tool, and it can be used with any you know this product. Besides that, it can also be bundled with you know edge solution in order to offer a more uh, complete remote uh, predictive maintenance and backup solution. All right, thank you, Alfie. Our next question uh, says. For InnoAge hardware, uh, does system hardware need uh, to be modified? Um, it's me again. So yes, uh, these are several things need to modify. So first, from how is I uh, internet system need to provide uh, uh, either Wi-Fi or Ethernet uh, independently connect to SSD. And besides that, uh, the power also uh, we need to get an independent standby power from power supplier. And for GPIO, if you uh, uh, the user would like to uh, pull a unique function of, uh, from GPIO, the mother will need to uh, offer this GPIO uh, connection to SSD. And besides that, the mother will also need to provide a recipient to connect to SSD. All right, thank you, Alfie. And yet another question here for you. Uh, can InnoAge support different CPU and OS versions? 
Yes, Inno Edge doesn't need uh, first Inno Edge doesn't need driver. So uh, all the uh, OS recovery was from uh, we do uh, from raw data uh, based recovery. So there's no compatible uh, compatib uh, compatibility issue. So it can be used for uh, different CPU and OS version. All right, thank you, Alfie. Our next question here says, uh, I'm interested in the uh, Edge AI computing. So what can Aetna offer, uh, and can you please share some more detail? Okay, uh, this is um, Eric speaking. Uh, I will uh, direct the question to uh, Daisy, who is on internet to answer the question. Hello, this is Daisy from Aetna. Uh, Aetna offers a wide range of embedded AI computing platforms based on NVIDIA Jetson modules, including the iconic Jetson AGX Xavier, Xavier NX, Jetson Nano. Being NVIDIA Jetson's preferred partner, we provide computing hardware that integrate with verified sensors and peripherals, and also value-added software service, design service, manufacturing service that can always assist our customer to land their projects as quickly as possible. All right, thank you, Chase, and th thank you, Eric. We'll move on to another question here. Uh, this one says, uh, does Cicino, uh have any reference on uh, public transportation, and how does it benefit uh, the solution? Okay, this is Erica again. Uh, I will uh, let uh, Veronica from the the same note to answer this uh, in detail. Hello everyone, this is Veronica. So we have cooperated uh, a few projects with uh, Taiwanese uh, Taoyuan Airport Metro and Taiwan Rail Railway. And so the benefit of the to collect uh, real-time environmental condition is to control uh, this system and in order to improve the air quality, indoor air quality, and for long-term monitoring, you can also save some running costs and providing the customer nice and fresh indoor air quality. All right, thank you, Erica, and thank you, Eric. Our next question here. Uh, I have a question uh, for Millatronic. Uh, the Wi-Fi 6 media server is currently compatible with Windows 10 only, uh, but various industries, people, and services use Ubuntu uh, 16.04, will there be a, a version that supports Linux coming up in the future? Okay, I will let uh, Sam from Melatronic to uh, to answer the question. Okay. Yes, <clears throat> our Wi-Fi uh, Wi-Fi media server supports Linux uh, available in uh, 2021 uh, 20, uh, Q1. And our support Linux kernel for the 4.8, 4.15, Fifth, uh, five, uh, three, five point zero version. All right, thank you, Sam, and thank you, Eric. Uh, we'll move on to another question here. Our next one says, uh, for the use of Wi-Fi six media servers in hospital environments, uh, would its Wi-Fi signals be weakened seriously by having to go through thick walls, especially metal, mirrors, and concrete that are commonly used in modern buildings? I'll, I'll let the same answer the question as well. Yes, the the wall will uh, affect uh, the wireless channel, so we will provide uh, some uh, antenna spec to fit your scenario and uh, your uh, infrastructure in the hospital. So uh, you will uh, you can predict the radio link budget to reach your data rate for your application. All right, thank you, Sam, and thank you, Eric. Uh, we'll move on to another question here. What is the uh, BLE coverage of Answers Gateway? Okay, I'll let Sharon uh, from Answertech to answer this. Hello everyone, this is Sharon from Answertech. So uh, our gateway is able to receive data uh, via BLE under both uh, broadcast mode and pairing mode. So. Uh, the transmission distance from, uh, for BLE could be up to 6 meters indoors and uh, 50 meters outdoors. Thank you. All right, thank you, Sharon, and thank you, Eric. We'll move on to another question here. Uh, our final, uh, looks like our final question for you, or getting close to our final question for you. Uh, for AI accelerators, uh, does uh, Iveno support Linux? 
Hi, this is James. Uh, so, so far, uh, our IV node software can only support Win 10, and uh, we are planning to uh, developing this version currently, but uh, user can still use uh, OpenVINO provided by Intel directly to use our AI accelerator in Linux system. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, James. We'll move on to another question here. Uh, could I add my trained module uh, to iVINO for benchmarking? Hi, this is James again. Uh, so far, uh, user can only use the pre trained model provided by Intel, and uh, currently uh, they cannot uh, import their model to iVINO. But uh, we are uh, developing this feature and will release this in next version. All right, thank you, James. And uh, we have another question that's come in. I heard about Wi-Fi being integrated on some storage products. Uh, can you tell me more about that, please? Uh, yes, this is Michael again. Uh, thank you for the question. Um, as Alfie already mentioned in the previous questions, uh, with our InnoH product, uh, we can connect it uh, in two ways, directly to the internet. You can either use the Wi-Fi solution that is integrated into the disks, or you can use an RJ45 connector. So uh, the answer is the disk that we have is InnoH, which can support Wi-Fi. All right, thank you, Michael. That looks like all the questions that we have for right now. Uh, so uh, I guess what we'd like to do at this point is thank Michael and Eric and their teams for all of their uh, help with our Q&A session. Also like to thank Michael and Eric for a great presentation. If we did not get to your question today, someone will get back to you after the program is over. And for more information related to today's webinar, please visit any of the resource links available in the green folder icon at the bottom of your screen. Within the next 24 hours, you will receive a personalized follow-up email with details and a link to today's presentation on demand. Once again, we'd like to thank you for attending today's webinar, Powering AIoT with InnoDisk Group, brought to you by InnoDisk. And this webinar is copyright 2020 by Aspen Core Media. The presentation materials are owned by or copyright by InnoDisk. And the individual speakers are solely responsible for their content and opinions. On behalf of our guests and InnoDisk, I'm Chris Keach. Once again, we'd like to thank you for joining us, and we hope you have a great day.